So I had someone recently comment on one of my videos asking about slicing this articulated dragon in Cura. And so let's take a look at that process. So if I delete this here, I go into the open file tab, take this dragon v2, it'll open and it'll automatically put the flat side down. And you can see all the blue is where it's contacting. The red is where it thinks it has overhangs that don't work, but I've already printed this without supports and it turns out just fine. So the dragon's there. If you wanted to change its orientation at all, it's this one here and you can grab those arrows and rotate it to wherever you'd like. When I'm making time lapses. They're usually from this angle here. So I like to have the front of the object facing that way. I also want to bring in those whiskers or the dragon stash. And you can also decide to move that wherever you'd like. Right in the middle works pretty well. So that's bringing it into Cura. And then let's briefly go over all of the settings that I use for most of my prints. Um, so we've got layer height 0.2 millimeters, initial layer height 0.2 millimeters, wall thickness 0.8 millimeters, which gives it a wall count of 2 because it's a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. I've got a top and bottom thickness of 0.8 uh, and a top thickness of 0.8. Yeah, that's just repeating the same number, uh, which gives you a top layer of uh, 4 and a bottom layer of 4. Uh, again, it's multiples of 0 0.2, so 0 0.2 fits into 0 0.8 four times, which gives you the four layers at the top, four layers at the bottom. I'm using an infill density of 10%, uh, cubic infill pattern. My print temperature is 205. This is going to vary depending on what brand of PLA that you're using, um, but for, for me, 205 has been a pretty good uh, starting point. Uh, build plate temperature, I like to have it at 60, and flow is 100%. My print speed is 50, my travel speed is 150 millimeters per second, and my initial layer speed is 20 millimeters per second. I want to make sure that first layer goes down perfect. Uh, I do enable retraction. My retraction distance is 5.0 millimeters. Uh, retraction speed is 45 millimeters per second. I have cooling enabled, fan speed of 100 initial fan speed of zero, uh, no supports on this one, and uh, no build plate adhesion added on this one either. So I can go ahead and slice. So there we go, we're done slicing. It's gonna be 15 hours and 32 minutes. Uh, it's gonna use 64 grams or 21.57 meters of filament. We can look at the preview. So you can either press preview down there or preview up here in the middle. And that'll show you what every layer is gonna look like. And you can scroll through the layers with the sidebar. And there we can see that first layer going down all the way through till the last layer. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. One last thing I need to mention is that uh, once you've got it sliced, you need to either save it to disk or to a removable drive that you have plugged in. So once you hit save to disk, it'll bring you to your, your file explorer and you can save it in the appropriate location or to a SD card to then transfer it to your 3D printer. And that's it for that one. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button and hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.